everybody, it's Lisa. Um, I own a business called Vintage Gypsy where I do t-shirts and wood signs and all that fun stuff. I also admin um, the Silhouette Basics and Tutorial page. We have videos on YouTube and also on our group. Um, there was a question today and it's come up quite a bit. I just haven't had a chance to do a video on it of how to get designs into your software from like Hungry JPEG or Craft Bundles or any of those other sites like that that are free. I have a video already on how to install fonts that's out on our YouTube channel. This one is going to be how to install designs. First thing is most of these designs come in SVG formats, which translates to that you need to have Designer Edition, Designer's, Designer Edition Plus, or Business in order in order to use them. If you just have the basic version, that's the free one that came with your machine, it is not going to allow you to, to use SVGs, okay? That's the first thing. If you don't know much about the different upgrades, if you go to the group and you search hashtag additions or hashtag upgrade, it'll give you all the information of the differences in the additions and also where to go to do the update or upgrade, I should say, or purchase um, the higher software level. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to whatever site you want to download from. So like right now, I'm on the Hungry JPEG. And I just went into the freebies because they have tons of freebies on this site. And I go in and I click download. Now, once I click download, what it's going to do, it's going to pop up, and mine's a little slow, it takes a minute, and ask you to go in and save or save as. Hopefully, but mine's a little, my computer's been really acting up today. It's been giving me fits, making me use a lot of bad words. So let's see if it'll work. Once you click download, the screen like this is going to pop up. It may show up as a bar down at the bottom of your screen as well. I usually always go to save as. If you click open, it's not going to automatically save it. So what that means is you're not going to save that file on your desktop at all or on your hard drive anywhere. I usually save all mine because I can't ever remember if my computer died or I lost my hard drive where I got these at. So it's better for me to save it externally like on a jump drive or a Google drive or something like that. So save as. Then what it's going to do is you need to have a folder somewhere. So you can pl plop it on your desktop if you want. Um, on my desktop I have one and I have it called graphics and that's usually where I put a lot of my stuff is in the graphics folder. But if it's just specifically for my Silhouette software and I don't use it anywhere else, you can just slap it on your desktop and move it later. When it comes in you're going to notice that it has all these crazy numbers. The best tip I can give you is to go ahead and name it what the file was or you'll never find it. Okay, so I'm going to put this actually just on my desktop. I'm going to click Save. Then what it's going to do is going to go ahead and download and see how it downloaded very quickly. I'm going to go to Open. Now these are all zipped files, which means you cannot use them until you unzip them or unpack them. So double click on the file. Sometimes they look like this, sometimes they don't. Now when it comes in here, there are different formats. There is um, an encapsulated postscript that's used for like Adobe Illustrator. The ping file is just simply the picture. The SVG document is what we're going to use. And the DXF is another file format that can be used for it as well. So I'm going to double click on my SVG. Well, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to click extract. I want to extract all these files. Extract all. And then what it's going to do is, it's, if you look, it's going to go to my desktop and dump this where it is. So basically where I saved the file originally is where it's going to do unzipping or unpacking. So hit extract. That just takes a minute. And another box is going to pop up. You can go from here and do it, but I'm going to take you another way to do it. So if I go back to my desktop, okay, so here's my zipped file. Here's my unzipped file. Now, if you go into this and you double click on... The SVG, it's going to do this. That does not bring it go into your software. So if you have Designer Edition or higher, you can do this neat little trick. Let me make my screen smaller here. You can actually just drag it in and drop it, just like that. So here's your design. Now, the question was, how do I save these to the library? So I'm a big proponent of not saving to the library. Um, people use the library because they have the cloud and they can use it on multiple computers. I primarily use one or two computers for my designs. Um, the library has not always been a 100% safe zone for me. I've upgraded in the past or I've lost um, all my designs for whatever reason. I've tried to export the library 
and then import it back in and any of my custom designs I've done do not show up in my library again. Some people believe in it. I don't. I'm old school. I would like to keep my copies on my hard drive and then save them somewhere else. But that being said, this is how you save this to your library. So you click on your design, go up to File. If you go to Save As, you can choose Hard Drive or Library. This is how you save it to your library. It'll de default into User Designs. Okay, You could move it around if you wanted to and just put it in your library here. Now I have tons of files that I never use in here, so don't go by mine. And then um, I want to get, oops, sorry. Go back to my library and click OK. Now hopefully this will save. But what we're going to do is we're going to go check. So I'm going to go over to the library tab and see here is my file under library. Now if you had this broken down with different categories like I did, you could have dumped this in somewhere else. Okay. Now see how it says unentitled? This will be hard to search. So if you left click and right click, you can actually rename this and I can put trick or treat. So it's easy to find. The other thing you can do is if you go to show properties, keywords, this helps you search for this design. So if I'm looking for Halloween stuff, if I type in trick or treat, it's not going to come up as a Halloween design. So you go to your plus sign and it says new keywords. So I'm going to add a new keyword. I'm going to type in Halloween. I can do another one and I can do trick or treat. I can spell it right. I can do one more, maybe do fall. Now also what you can do is people are asking about commercial license. You could go ahead and put that in this area. I'm just going to forewarn you, I always misspell commercial for whatever reason. So anytime I go to search now, after I hit save, and if I go up here and type in commercial, I've changed these that I have a commercial license for. See how that pops up now? Or I can switch over here and I can go to Halloween. And it's going to bring up that design if I go down here and look. I just got to get through it and find it. So here's my trick-or-treat design. So that's some of the ways you can do that. So once it's saved to your hard drive, so we'll do that again. So you're going to go to File, Save that, Save to Hard Drive, and you're going to name it. So we're going to call it Trick-or-Treat 2 because I already saved it once. And then hit OK. Now if you want to open this up and use this from your hard drive, you're going to go back to you can do the open folder, or you can go to file and open. It does the same thing. Okay. You're going to double click on your design wherever you saved it to. Like mine's on my desktop, desktop, and it's in this file. Double click it, and then it'll load that design for you. Okay. So those are the two ways you can do it. You can save it to your hard drive, you can save it to your library. It's totally a preference. I'm not a library girl for my custom designs or anything I purchased. I do save everything to an external hard drive. Um, everyone is different. There's no right or wrong way. You do what's, what works for you. If you guys have any questions, you can always give us a yell. Um, we try and answer as much as we can on the page. We can get to you as soon as we can. If we don't get to you, you don't get a response. Make sure you tag myself or Kylan. I'm Lisa, and then there's Kylan Strano that are admins on the page. We do have a few moderators out there. Also, um, check out our YouTube channel. Uh, most of that stuff is in our pin post. We also have discount codes. Um, for like the Hungry JPEG if you buy bundles and things like that. So um, I will talk to you guys later. You have a good night.